पर जाए माई वेरी फेवरेट एक्सिस फैमिली and welcome to prepare presentation program episode 4 which is based on local factor that cause dental disease dear listener hope you guys doing great and wearing mask regularly no time is not favorable for us due to covid situation we all are suffering mostly but slowly and steadily everything will recover soon inshallah we have to do our work studies and have to grow ourselves to build nation after all life goes on and doesn't stop for anyone and anything we the students never imagine that medical studies in online without going college but here our very friendly exis dental school played an important and excellent role our online study make more worthy helpful and unbelievable Access even made much difficult sensitive stuffs like paper presentation easier, like a piece of cake to develop skills, which is really more impressive. So today I am here came to uh, came tonight with the four episode of paper presentation by Access Dental School, and from the first to last I will be your moderator at the Ahmed Itu Northeast Medical College session two thousand nineteen two thousand twenty. Access uh, has given us the shot to well-informed meet and greet honorable principled teachers across the country and abroad. It's my gratification to introduce to our respected judges. So first of all, I would love to introduce our first uh, honorable respected foreign judges, Dr. 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 Praviha Manikam. Faculty Department of Periodontology, Penang International Dental College, Penang, Malaysia. And we have Professor Dr. Husniara Begum, Principal University Dental College and Vice President of Bangladesh Periodontology Society. And we have also have our very own, um, our very own mentor and guider of Exis Dental School. who have always shows us the guideline and uh, to access dental school he is none other than our favorite dr anupam padar sir associate professor and head department of periodontology and oral pathology dhaka dental college i am really really grateful to uh, have you all sir and uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us now i would love to introduce our very talented and amazing presenters of tonight and at the beginning i would love to introduce our very uh, very amazing amazing presenters ikra unos afshin session 2017 2018 city dental college and next we have from sir salimullah medical college farjana farjana yasmin apu session 2017 2018 and we moreover we have tasin afrin diana dhaka dental college session 2017 2018 thank you so much dears for making our session more excellent and beautiful now assalamu alaikum dear judges now i would like to uh, it would be a great pleasure if you do the honor to share some valuable and golden advice for us and for presenters and also the audience so i would like to start with our very favorite and our very respected judges our very respected foreign judges preva manikam ma'am can you please honor uh, can you do the honor please ma'am yeah hi moderator ms atia right ms atia ahmed so very nice moderation so i'll just go on with uh, what i want to uh, tell in this meeting and 
uh, we will go on with this. So good evening, everybody. Uh, Prof. Dr. Husna, Associate Prof. Dr. Anupam Podder, and moderator and the participants. So it is indeed a great pleasure and honor to be a judge uh, for this event. My sincere thanks and appreciation to Dr. Anupam Podder and the Accidental College. So I see that every day uh, or every other alternative day, there are some posts regarding periodontology, uh, some events related to periodontology. Every other day, I see some of the other events posted by Dr. Anupam. So I'm really happy that uh, periodontology is growing as a subject. And since it, it's a budding subject and it is growing into a very beautiful plan. So thank you, sir, for keeping it growing. Uh, so for the students, I would like to say that uh, you are studying dentistry to build a career. So a solid career plan is crucial as it can provide a future to your uh, road to dentistry. So uh, there are lots of uh, factors which are involved in uh, searching a proper career. You have entered into dentistry. So dentistry is going to become your career. So to take periodontology as a career and go, it is a dynamic uh, department and you have a lot of uh, features, a lot of studies, a lot of, uh, uh, what is it? treatment modalities which are available, starting from your uh, scaling to advanced surgical procedures. So we as a department uh, are revolved or we are surrounded by all the other departments. And uh, periodontology as such has two main things which are involved. One is that we can save the teeth and the other hand, even if it is lost, we can replace that by means of implantology. So we have two uh, main uh, divisions under us. So we are the kings of that. So implantology and periodontology. So you have two career courses in your life. So with these words and drilling, uh, and one more thing which I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, it is not just scaling. So it is not like one shoe fits all sides. So it is more than scaling. So each and every unique a case which you see is a little unique. So I would like you to go through all the cases. I think the topic today which you have taken is also one such unique topic. So there are certain uh, factors in each of this. So I'm looking forward to see how your presentations will be. I'm looking forward to see how, uh, uh, I mean, the question said, question and session is going to be. So relax, be calm. Uh, so it is like speaking to a friend, whatever you have read, just speak to us, explain to us. So you are the uh, uh, speaker and the, uh, and the podium is right in your hands. So we will wait for you. I'm eager to listen to your uh, lectures. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Anupam and Prof. Hosne. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your such a valuable words. Now, um, we are asking Dr. Professor Dr. Husniara Begum, ma'am. Can you do the honor, please, ma'am? Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. I'm very glad to see that you have included me in this session. You know, periodontology is the specialty of dentistry and it started about the, it's a very important subject, but in our country, it is not developed as it should be, it should develop in other countries. So we should do all these things and we will go for our future, preparing our students for our future condition. And in dentistry, you know, this is condition which affect the periodontal condition. And in our country, periodontal condition is not good. And you will have to go through it and do a lot on this section. We have to perform it, many things for the improving the disease condition and uh, oral hygiene condition of our country, people of our country. So this type of presentation and seminar condition, it will improve our students and future, in future, we'll get a lot of our uh, expert student teachers and help the, our country and people to improve the periodontal condition of our country. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for uh, thank you. You can start our presentation now, isn't it? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your precious work. Uh, I hope this will help us more. And now we are going towards our, our Dr. 
Anupam Padar sir, very respected sir. Sir, we are uh, asking you to sing something very precious to us. Please, can you do the honor, please, sir? Uh, thank you, Athi Ahmed Itu. Very good evening. Welcome, everybody, of our today's paper presentation competition. Today's important topic in periodontology is local factors that causes periodontal diseases. Honorable judges, Professor Dr. Ona Hosnara uh, Begum, Principal, University Dental College, and Vice President, Bangladesh Periodontology Society. Thank you, ma'am, to give, give you valuable time to our platform that is encouraging to our students. I also would like to thank our foreign judge, Dr. Preva Manikam, who is a faculty of Department of Periodontology and Penang International Dental College, Penang, Malaysia, for giving us your valuable time with us. Your presence encourages our students who are participants to this competition. Now, I would like to thank all of our dear students, Ikra Yunus Absin from City Dental College, Harjana Yasmin, Sar Salimullah Medical College Dental Unit, and Tasin Afrin Diana from my college, Dhaka Dental College. I hope all of you will do better performance. Wish all of you success. Finally, I would like to thank all organizers, including event management team, to do excellent job for successful program. So I now, I request to Athiya Ahmed not to be late to move forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words. Uh, these words will really help us to progress more. And <clears throat> now, uh, now I'm really, dear listener, I know you guys are really excited for the competition is like me. <clears throat> I'm also really very excited. Um, I promise that not to waste more time. I will just quickly read out the rules and for the competition. And here is the some rules. Actually, this not rules. Uh, all of you, uh, the presenters, uh, already knows that uh, each participants will get ten minutes for their presentation. After ten eight minutes, I will be modifying them. Then, within two minutes, the participant have to finish their presentation. If any participant take more time than ten minutes, uh, it will affect on their marking. And finally, after the presentation, they will do discussion uh, with the judges. So I guess everyone uh, can understand. And now I I will um, I will start. And firstly, I will uh, I would like to call our first presenters, Ikra Yunus Afshinapu. Please share your uh, presentation to us. Thank you, Apu. Thank you so much. Local factor that causes periodontal disease. Isn't it a fascinating topic to discuss? Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum and adab. And uh, a very good evening to my respected and honorable judges, my peers, and others who are watching me right now. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Ikrayana Safshin. Currently, I'm studying at City Dental College and Hospital, session 2017 to 18. Moving on to the uh, presentation, local factors that causes periodontal disease. So let me cover up the contents I have given uh, by Dr. Anupam Poddar, sir. Introduction, local of the, uh, lo name of the local factors, dental plaque and dental calculus. So, further any delay, let's move on to the, uh, my slides. What is actually periodontal disease? Periodontal disease are mainly the result or in, of infection and inflammation of the gums, of, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the gums and that surround the, that surround the gums and bone that surround and support the teeth. In its early stage called gingivitis, the gum can become solid and red, and they may bleed. In its more serious form, 
called periodontitis. The gums can pull away from the tooth. Bone can be lost and the tooth may loosen or even fall out. Moving on to the next, next slide, well, gingivitis. Gingiva means gum and itis means inflammation. So gingiva stands for gum, uh, gum uh, inflammation of the gum. So uh, inflammation of the soft tissue that surround the teeth. If gingivitis extend, it, uh, it causes periodontitis. Perio means around, don means tooth, and iris means inflammation. So inflammation and destruction of structures around the teeth, structures like periodontal ligament, cementum, and bone. So what is uh, now what are the local factors that, uh, that causes periodontal disease? They are dental plaque, dental calculus, atrogenic factors, design and removal of partial denture, restorative dentistry procedures, malocclusion, orthodontic therapy, tobacco use. Moving on to the next slide, I will I would go deeper with dental plaque, the factor dental plaque. So what is dental plaque? An organized mass consisting mainly organism that adheres to teeth, prosthetics, and oral surfaces and is found in the gingival crevice and periodontal pockets. Other components include an organic polysaccharide protein matrix consisting of bacterial byproducts such as enzyme, food debris, disquamated cells, and inorganic compounds such as calcium and phosphates. Then it comes how dental plaque forms and causes periodontal disease. Within the mouth, there are a bunch of bacterial organisms. In healthy mouth, there is a balance of common cell bacteria. Common cell bacteria we know as normal flora. These bacteria, uh, bacteria compete with each other and they kept in check by immune factors. Gingivitis and periodontal disease represent a state of imbalance and dysbiosis. Pathogenic bacteria increase either because of lack of competition with other common cells, which are normal flora we know as we know, or ineffective immune response. Then comes the pathogenic bacteria for uh, how pathogenic bacteria uh, form dental calculus. The pathogenic bacteria we can see here the pathogenic pathogenic bacteria form dental uh, plaque, which is a sticky collection of bacteria, proteins from saliva and dead cell from the lining of the mouth. Then uh, individual bacteria multiplies and form a lot of small micro colonies and, uh, and, cre and create a, a layer of dental plaque, a layer of dental plaque, which is a type of biofilm. Compared to micro, uh, micro colonies, the bacteria and the biofilm communicate with each other via chemical signaling and together, they uh, create uh, together cre they create a complex system where the bacteria work on tunneling be tunneling between the micro micro colonies and the surface in order to bring uh, in order to bring food uh, static uh, in order to bring static supply of food then comes calculus if the dental plaque above the gingiva keeps building the bacteria within the biofilm can invade beneath gingiva and it becomes very difficult to reach with brushing. Eventually, it forms a hard mass called dental calculus. Then next slide, as dental calculus is hard, they create a nice space for uh, a bacterial uh, plaque formation. The bacteria plaque, from there, the bacterial plaque enters the gingival uh, gingival circles, uh, circles and, they, they, and they causes inflammation or gingivitis. As we know, gin, if gingivitis extend, it causes periodontitis. If it, uh, if it remain untreated, uh, we, uh, we, we, we will face periodontitis. In periodontitis, in periodontitis, that dysbiosis is often more extreme. So we can see the uh, here dipping pocket, and uh, deepening, the deepening of pocket. First step of first step of uh, uh, first step of uh, formation of periodontitis is orange complex of bacteria. 
orange bacteria, uh, uh, orange bacteria, they are type of gram negative anaerobic bacteria like Fusobacterium, Nucleidum, Provetella, Intermedia. And once the uh, orange complex of bacteria are established, then comes red bacteria, red complex of bacteria. They are Gonorrhea, Forsythia, Treponema, Denticola, Propyromonas gingivalis or P. gingivalis. That's all for me. From uh, these are my references from where I collected my presentation. I tried to put together. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank. I would like to thank um, everyone who are who is listening to me patiently. I'm very much honored to be surrounded by so many scholars like uh, Professor Dr. Hosniara Begum, ma'am, Dr. Uh, Praviha uh, Manikam, ma'am. Dr. Onupom Poddas, sir, and huge shout out to ex the entire crew of Existential College for holding up such an amazing event. Last but not the least, my institution. I would like to thank deeply to my institution, City Dental College, for inspiring me to participate in this program. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's such an incredible presentation. Next, uh, uh, we'll, uh, we have a Farjana Yasmin Apu. Uh, best of luck to her. And Apu, please share your presentation with us. Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. This is Parjana Yasmin from Delta Unit, Sir Solimullah Medical College, Station 2017 and 18. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank my honorable judges for giving me the opportunity to present my presentation here. And I would also like to thank my fellow mate and uh, the host responsible host out there. And especially I would like to thank the entire EXIS family for arranging such wonderfully informative program. Okay, now I'm going to start my presentation uh, under, the, uh, under the topic local factor that causes periodontal disease. In this topic, I have the content include iatrogenic, iatrogenic factor, malocclusion, and anatomic variation of soft tissue and teeth. Now, I'm moving to my first topic, iatrogenic factor. What is iatrogenic factor? Inadequate dental procedure that contributes to the contributes to the deterioration of the periodontal tissue are referred to as iatrogenic factor. Iatrogenic endodontic complications that can adversely affect the periodontium include root perforation, vertical root, and endodontic failure. Now, some common factors that are considered as iatrogenic factor, they are margin of the restoration, restorative material, restorative dentistry procedure, contour of the restoration, and contour and open contact, and finally, malocclusion. Okay. Margin of the restoration. Margin of the restoration may produce overhanging margin of dental restoration may contribute to the development of periodontal disease by changing the ecological balance of gingival sulcus. Location of the gingival margin, subgingival margin are associated with large amount of flat and severe gingivitis and deeper blockage. Now, margin of the restoration. Here we can see the Grooves and scratches in the surfaces, roughness in the subgingival area is considered to be a major contributing factor to plaque buildup and gingival inflammation. Now, contour and open contact. Over contact crown prevents self cleansing mechanism causes plaque accumulation, whereas under contour result doesn't have much destructive effect. Here we can see the contoured, correctly contoured teeth, over contoured teeth, and under contoured teeth. 
Okay, restorative materials. We all know flat retention capacity of different restorative materials are different, like porcelain or gold restoration. But self-curing acrylics are injurious themselves as restorative materials. But the composition of flat front on all types of restorative materials is similar with the exception of silicate. Moreover, retained cement may cause peri-implantitis. Now the question is, what is peri-implantitis? It is an inflammatory disease of the tissue around dental implant resulting in progressive bone loss. That is dominated by gram-negative bacteria and food particles. Here we can see peri-implantitis in an implant gum tissue. Okay, our next topic is malocclusion. What is malocclusion? Malocclusion means having cryptid or a poor bite. What is poor bite? Bite refers to the lower alignment of lower teeth line up. It also referred to as crowded teeth, cross bite, over bite, and open bite. The several correlation between crowding and periodontal disease may provide plaque accumulation, redness, and gum bleeding, and also poor root support and loosened teeth. Okay. What does failure to replace posterior teeth? It may include mandibular first molar extraction, extraction of the impacted third molar. Moreover, if there occurs any foot infection that might be accompanied by gingival inflammation, here we can see a radiographical feature of failure to a replaced posterior tooth. Now, we are in our last topic, anatomical variation of soft tissue and teeth, starting with cervical enamel projection. What is cervical enamel projection? It is a common tooth anomaly that can act as contributing factor in the development of the periodontitis. That can be classified here like grade one, grade two, and grade three. Okay, they are more frequent in buccal surface of mandibular molar. These are plaque retentive and can cause loose of periodontal attachment. Uh, in this heading, our second one is enamel pearl. Enamel pearl are more frequent in maxillary molar. Here we can see enamel pearl feature. Okay. Now high frenum attachment. It becomes a risk factor when the attachment is too close to the marginal gingiva. Frenal fibers produce gingival retraction and pull the gingiva away from the tooth that causes plaque accumulation and prevent proper tooth brushing. Here we can see a thick white labial frenum attachment to its high frenum. Okay, here is the references from where I have collected my information and put it together. Thank you everyone for being out there and for being patient still now. Uh, I really appreciate that uh, you took uh, the time to get here and listen to me here uh, patiently. And thank you, my honorable judges, uh, for giving me the opportunity. Uh, uh, Professor Dr. Husne Ara Begum, ma'am, Dr. Prabhiha Manikam, ma'am, and Dr. Unpam Poddar, sir. And thank you, my audience, for listening to me. Thank you so much, Apu, for your excellent presentation. Uh, all the very best. And now uh, I would like to call our, our another presenter, Tassin Afrin Diana Apu, and best of luck to her. And Apu, can you share your presentation with us, please? Thank you, Atiya Ahmedito, for giving me the platform. I'll be finishing the rest of the presentation tonight. I take a moment to share my slides.
Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Tatsina in Diana. Currently, I'm studying in Dhaka Dental College and Hospital. My session is 2017 to 18. Before I start, I'd like to take a brief moment to thank Professor Dr. Anupam Poddar, sir, Professor Dr. Prabeha, ma'am, and Professor Dr. Husni Ara Begum, ma'am, for their presence. And also, I'd like to thank the Exist Dental School for giving us the opportunity to be here tonight. Special thanks to Anupam Poddar, sir, for such a great initiative that will not only benefit me and my fellow mates, but also our viewers to a great extent. Now, without further ado, I'd like to start my presentation. The topic of our discussion is local factors that causes periodontal disease. It is not unknown to us that periodontium is a very vital part of our oral cavity and it can There may be network problem. Mm. Our lifestyle to a great extent. Patient for tonight are orthodontic therapy, missing teeth, food infection and food retention, and parafunctional habits. Firstly, orthodontic. Diana, Kumar, unmute me, Gache. Tassin, a friend, Diana, po. Can you hear my audible now? Yes, yes, audible. Very sorry. Due to the gingival trauma, orthodontic bands, when placed beyond the level of the epithelial attachment, it can detach the gingiva from the tooth and result in apical proliferation of the <clears throat> junctional epithelium, which can eventually lead to gingival recession. In case of plaque retention, orthodontic appliances can favor plaque by creating, by creating excessive or unfavorable forces directly injuring the gingiva, and also it can affect the equilibrium of the oral microflora, which can increase the risk of periodontitis. Next up, we have orthodontic therapy. All the moderate force of an orthodontic therapy appliances can remodel our alveolar bone, but when excessive force is applied, we can see that in case in this picture, in case of a normal gingiva and when orthodontic forces are applied, there can be a tension area and a compression area. The Diana, please, area Diana, please, Diana, please. You, 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 I do not see your screen. Please check up your screen. Sir, is it seen now? No, no, no. Is it okay now? Okay, okay, okay. Here in the compression area of osteoblast, we can see that in the compression area, the bone resorption is done by the osteoclast. And in the tension area, osteoblast will form bones and it will help us to produce new bones and remodel our alveolar bone. But in case of higher or excessive force, it will cause necrosis of our periodontal ligaments and the adjacent alveolar bone, ultimately apical root resorption. Next up, we have use of elastic. In the picture, we can see that a maxillary central incisor diastema was sourced by using an elastic ligature, which was later developed into inflamed gingiva and deep periodontal drop. And after the removal of a full thickness mucoperiosteal flap, we can see the elastic ligature causing intrabony defects around the central incisor, which is a defect of using elastic and orthodontic therapy in case of periodontal disease. Next up, we have extraction of the impacted third molar. In case of extracting a third molar from the picture, we can see there can be a vertical defect distal to the second molar, which is another cause of orthodontic therapy affecting our periodontium. Next topic of today is hypofunction. In case of hypofunction, occlusal loading can 
be an important factor for periodontal tissue homeostasis. However, occlusal hypofunction can cause decreased number and thickness of cancellous bone, clavicular, disorientation of collagen fibers, apoptosis of the periodontal ligament, which can further lead to bone resorption. The causes can be open by absence of the functional antagonist and unilateral chewing habit. Next up, we have an interesting research of the Hiroshima University in Japan, where an experimental study was done on five week old whisker string male rats. From the experimental study, they were divided into one untreated control group and two experimental groups, which were hypofunction and recovery group. In the graph, we can see that the periodontal area was smaller in the hypofunction group, whereas it was more the periodontal area than the hypofunctional group in the control group, which tends to increase in the recovery group than the hypofunctional group after reestablishment of the occlusal function. Next topic is the unreplaced missing tooth, which is a very important one as it causes drifting of the teeth and bite complication when the teeth goes unreplaced. Here we can see the mandibular molar is missing and there is medial drifting of the adjacent teeth in attempt to fill the vacant space. Next up, we have supra eruption of the opposing teeth, which can cause open contact between the teeth and subsequently contribute to plaque deposition and food retention and gingival inflammation and bone resorption. In the picture, we can see that a mandibular molar is missing and the supra eruption of the opposing teeth has caused accumulation of plaque. Excuse me, Diana. Uh, you can only take two minutes more. Next up, we have food impaction and retention, which is the forceful wedging of food into the periodontium and the changes are trauma, gingival bleeding, gingival recession, periodontal abscess, and distortion of the alveolar bone. Types of food impaction are vertical and lateral, vertical by occlusal forces and lateral by pressure from tongue, cheek, and lip. And last but not the least, the parafunctional habit. What is the parafunctional habit? It refers to the habitual or self-inflicted injury that may directly injure the periodontion. There can be many causes and bruxism is one of them. What is bruxism? It is the involuntary and unconscious excessive grinding of the teeth. The effect can be wear and mobility of the tooth, widening of the PDL and clicking of TMT joint. The etiology can be nervous tension or occlusal interference. Toothbrush trauma can also be a part of the perfunctional habit and it can cause gingival dissection due to horizontal or rotary toothbrush moving or excessive forceful toothbrushing over jealous toothbrushing. Punctured lesion can be caused by the fine bristles of the toothbrush and acute gingival abscess by forcibly embedded toothbrush bristles. Chemical irritation is another parafunctional habit which is caused by aspirin, cocaine, accidental contact with drugs like phenylsilvanitis. The effect can be acute gingival inflammation with ulceration. In the picture, we can see an intraoral aspirin burn. Next up, smokeless tobacco chewing, which can cause localized zecoplakia. You can see the white patches in the picture, which is the localized zecoplakia and gingival recession. Enhanced susceptibility to severe periodontitis and root caries. And last but not least, the radiation. Head and neck radiation causes mucositis and treatment. And in cancer patients, high dose of the unilateral radiation causes periodontal attachment loss, tooth loss, and osteoradionecrosis. Here is a picture of the osteoradionecrosis. That was it. Here are my references that I used to prepare my presentation. Thank you very much for being so patient with me. And I'm ending my part of the presentation here. Thanks for the honor. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your wonderful presentation. And I would say, wow, mashallah. Our two presenters did an amazing job today and gift us a uh, outstanding session uh, for all. And it's really a worthy session for us to enjoy. And now uh, I would like to ask uh, our Praveha respected ma'am, Praveha, uh, Praveha Manika ma'am, to start their discussion uh, episode and for our three of wonderful presenters. Yeah. Ma'am, can you do uh, that? So first of all, uh, congratulations to all, all the three presenters. So you guys did a wonderful job. So please, may I know uh, what, uh, what year you are in? Are you in third year, fourth year? Or you have done finished your BDS? So which year are you in? Um, we are in third year. 
you are in third year okay okay so i really appreciate you that uh, uh, at this is a budding stage so you are just now entering into clinics and you guys have learned or you have put more of your knowledge and skills and you have referred so many books i would say that you have referred the recent editions in fact i think 13th edition karansa has been referred by you guys so i really appreciate that uh, there are around two or three references also which you guys have included so i really appreciate that fact in uh, you people all three of you have included that so that is one thing which i would like to appreciate and one more thing is like uh, all three of you have included more amount of pictures uh, while you were explaining your uh, your slides so that is easy for the understand uh, for one who is listening so that is one important thing to be appreciated and one more thing which i uh, which i noticed is was you were not just reading through the slides so you were explaining it so what i found was that you are like Uh, future i could see budding uh, academicians in you so i would want you guys to become very good professors like dr anupam dr like dr krishna uh, in future so that uh, you spread the knowledge to the future era as okay so now uh, a little about question and session uh, which i would like to know uh, it is not not to get panicked uh, just uh, just i want to know whether you have understood a little depth about the subject and one more thing is one of you had presented a study too so that is one more uh, interesting thing which you had presented so um, so coming on to the question and session uh, can you guys tell me uh, which is more dangerous is it the plaque or the calculus it's the plasma Okay. Uh, can I move calculus? On? Because we can't remove calculus because it's okay. very hard. All right. Um, in other words, can I ask you uh, which is more deleterious? Uh, which is more deadly? Which is more deleterious? So, uh, what would be your answer? I think plaque uh, is more deadly. Uh, Miss Ekra, your answer, please. Miss Ekra. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, which is more deleterious or which is more harmful? Plaque or calculus? as we know uh, calculus is the sticky tumors uh, accumulation and of bacteria proteins from saliva and dead cell from the uh, the lining of the mouth and uh, okay. it's easier to uh, it's easier to remove plaque but uh, as we know uh, the angel calculus is very hard so it's uh, very difficult to remove the angel calculus and it Yeah, create a very nice space for dental uh, uh, bacteria plaque to uh, enter the uh, bacteria plaque formation uh, to enter the gingival sulcus. So I think it's dental calculus. Okay. Uh, can I pass on the question to Miss? Uh, uh, I think the second one was Miss Farzana. Yeah. So what is your? Uh, uh, I'm taking little time to ask each of you. So Miss Farzana, so what would be your answer? Which is more dangerous? Is it the plaque or the calculus? And I agree with the uh, and I agree with the answer of equal units, Bakshi. Uh, she answered that calculus is more sticky and plaque uh, is easily removable from the surfaces. That uh, we can uh, uh, easily remove uh, the calculus that is uh, so. Yeah, cal uh, uh, calculus is more dangerous. Okay, um, uh, Mr. Dina. Uh, that is what how uh, Dr. Anupam called you. So, uh, which is more dangerous, uh, Ms. Dina? Ma'am, uh, I think plaque is more dangerous because calculus acts as a retentive factor which accumulates more plaque. That's why my answer would be plaque is more dangerous. Okay. so good replies were given by all of you so i would like to put one thing on notice that um, so calculus is something a hard and mineralized structure all right so above calculus you have an uh, it is uh, you have a layer of unmineralized plaque so this unmineralized plaque keeps on depositing and that forms your calculus all right so what happens is that once the calculus becomes mineralized it doesn't cause Harm as that it is just a contributing factor, but your initiating factor or your harmful factor is your plaque because plaque the organisms which are inside that so the term which you told us biofilm the organisms which are inside the plaque they are alive they could cause more harm to the tissues around. Yeah, I I also agree with the fact that calculus is difficult to remove, but that is doesn't mean that you cannot remove it. So calculus being mineralized, it doesn't. it is just a contributory factor to the disease so it doesn't directly cause the disease 
So the direct cause for the disease is your dental plaque. All right. So there was a lot of uh, local factors which you told, right? Like for example, the hydrogenic factors, the margins of restoration. So all this, they are local factors. But if only they all become dangerous only if the plaque gets attached to them. You understanding what I'm telling? All right. Even if calculus get attached to them, they are not dangerous. There were such a lot of local factors which you told, like for example, malocclusion, restoration, and other things. But all of this become dangerous only when plaque is getting attached to them and plaque is in the active state to cause disease. You're getting what I'm telling? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so there has been, I, I could also tell you that calculus in a very sterile form, if you take it, you can even use it for regenerating bone. So calculus is that good a person, but plaque is the one, is, is one deleterious and wicked fellow which will cause the disease. All right. Okay, so uh, one more question which I would like to ask is, so since you guys are there in the clinical field uh, and eventually you will start doing your restorations, you will start doing your processes and everything. So once you finish your restoration, so what is the first thing which you have to check from a periodontology point of view? So again, I would start with uh, Zekra uh, or do you want me to start the review? Ms. Farzana. So once I finish a restoration, I complete a restoration, so what should I check first, especially a restoration involving the proximal sites? So what do I check first? Ma'am, we will, the surface yes. of the restoration, uh, the surface of the restoration that uh, it is prepared well or not. Okay. Uh, can you come once more, Mrs. Marzana? Can you come again once more, please? Uh, you are muted. We will we will check after a restoration done uh, the surface of the restoration is it smoothly okay. uh, prepared or not or uh, there is some uh, ridges or scratches or occlusal uh, roughness uh, we will check it out. Okay, uh, Ms. Ekra, your reply, please. Yes, ma'am. We will see um, the restoration uh, occlusal. How smooth or uh, is it smooth or not? The mark is there any marginal leakage or not? Then uh, we will check if uh, we will check the occlusion bite also if the restoration uh, is perfect or not. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, the and the margins also, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Very good. Um, Ms. Diana. Um, we'll um, check the occlusal surface if it's overhanging or not and also the contours of the restoration. Okay, so uh, see, eventually you guys are going to go into and finish your restorative uh, aspect. So as you guys told, the answer is going to be the same, that you will have to check your restorations. So one particular thing which you have to check, especially when it's going to be a proximal restoration, that between two teeth. So you're going to place a restoration something like this. See to that, your restoration is not overhanging like this. So your restoration is not out of the contour. If it is out of the contour, the gingiva comes down and the food lodges inside. That is, dental, dental plaque starts to form again and becomes more deleterious. So your main factor, your main checking after your restoration should be that the area should be smooth. There should not be any overhanging margins. That you, you have to carry out this throughout your practice, not only when your staff are looking at you. <clears throat> so whenever you're going to set up your own clinic, Please see to that you send before you sending the patient, you check all the factors because that patient will be your if you to do all this, that patient will be your patient for his lifetime. All right. Okay. And uh, I think that's all from me. Uh, one more important thing which I wanted to uh, ask you guys was there was uh, a, a, a discussion about the, the orange complex and the red complex microorganisms. So um, I hope you know the other complexes also. So you initially you do have uh, the, uh, there are different colors which are available. So let's not go to that. I will just tell you that uh, initially you have the gram positive microorganisms which are present. So till it is gram positive, it is safe. We are, we are somehow in a healthy status. But once all conditions become favorable, this gram positive changes into gram negative. And that is the time when the real problem starts. All right. And the three complexes, which you, three um, uh, microorganisms, which you told as a red complex microorganisms, are the ones which are, uh, which are deleterious, resulting in bleeding. 
of your gum. So they are called as the red complex microorganisms. All right. Okay. So uh, whenever Perio has told these three red complex, even in your sleep, if you call and ask you, you have to tell. All right. Okay. Fine. So hoping uh, all three of you, um, uh, you guys are interested in doing post graduation. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Very oh, nice. Ma nice. So I know uh, if if perio if perio is like uh, one of the subjects which students wants to do. So if perio is your subject, so you are not only going to save the tooth, you are going to replace the tooth with implantology also. So read both simultaneously, and uh, I would like to see all three of you with flying colors in your life. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much to our very favorite and respected Preva Manikam, ma'am. And we are really grateful for to her. And now we. Uh, one minute. I would like to mention about the moderator too. She has a smiling face from the starting <laughs> till the end. I forgot to mention about her. Sorry. So you do have a very smile, pleasant smiling face, which is like, uh, which has made the session run very nicely. So you have been able to uh, tell all three of them. Uh, put them who is to speak so uh, very much uh, i mean i'm uh, a very appreciable work by you uh, ms atia ahmed so uh, continue doing this and i would like to see you also in flying colors probably one of uh, one of the best lecturers or the best academicians in the coming years all right thank, thank you, you so much that yeah. means a lot for me thank you so much yeah, okay. Okay. And then I uh, love to ask our, our respected Kusnara Begum ma'am for start uh, uh, her discussion episode to our three wonderful presenters. Can you please start ma'am? Vishya, thank you all for your excellent presentation. They presented very nicely. Everything was perfect. Presentation time management was good and appreciating. Learning process was also good. I think everybody enjoyed it and learned a lot about local factors caused by the periodontal diseases. Thank you very much. I, I, I just want, want to ask a question to all of them. How we can go for the prevention of the periodontal diseases? We, I, we learn, I, know it first of all. Yes, sure. Okay, ma'am. So. If we maintain our oral hygiene, like if we brush two times daily, so then we, uh, if we, uh, if we use mouthwash, then uh, I think, and uh, if we, th if we think we, uh, we uh, if we go to, uh, a visit to dentist uh, after three months, if we face uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, bleeding from mouth, we know that we always have minimal amount of plaque in our gene uh, gingivitis. We we know that. So if we uh, conscious uh, uh, conscious about the uh, about the periodontal uh, periodontitis, then we can uh, we can uh... control periodontal diseases. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. Then any more so thing? I'd like to add to that. Yeah. Like with brushing twice daily. Also, we can use fluoride containing toothpaste. We can use intraoral brushes to clean the interproximal areas. We can use dental floss yes. and mouthwash. And also obviously we will have to follow up with our dentist every three months. Okay. Anything else? And then uh, our other speaker is there. Do you want to say something? I think Fazana Yasmin. If you have finished, I just like to uh, add something. Oral hygiene uh, maintenance is good, and we have to do it. But yes, yes. Uh, according uh, to all of this maintaining oral hygiene and fluoride intake and other medication we uh, uh, we need so far. Uh, uh, we will also consider, uh, we will not consider any negligence to our uh, simple uh, simple dental health issue, uh, like uh, from the uh, small swelling to plaque formation, we should also care of, not care of 
all of these uh, symptoms uh, as a precaution. Okay, it's all right. For initial stage, it's all right, but we have to include something more, isn't it? We go for the uh, uh, brushing, toothpaste, tooth brushing, at least twice daily uh, before going to bed and uh, after breakfast and after taking food, we have to go for mouth rinse, interdental cleaning by flossing or interdental brush, isn't it? Yeah. And if there is calculus formation, then we will go for scaling and polishing. Then other things you have told, uh, discussed, correction of the restoration and appliance should be done. Other than this, you can go for the uh, uh, correction of, uh, go for the cleaning of the uh, plaque, isn't it? Correction of the malocclusion also should be done. And if there is any malocclusion crowding, and if there is the problem with the patient with the lip seal, incompetent lip, it should be corrected. And if there is any gerostomia or other diseases, that should be corrected. If we give these instructions to the patient, the lab mass people will be able to keep their uh, gingiva perfectly properly, and we will get a healthy patient with the perfect gum diseases or gingiva, uh, gingiva or periodontal diseases, isn't it? Thank you very much. You have done well. All of you are appreciating. I must appreciate. Thanks all. See you later. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much to our respected Husnara Begum, ma'am. Uh, we are really grateful to us. For uh, now, we would like to ask our, our very respected Anupam Padda sir. Sir, can you please start your discussion? Uh, to our uh, presenters. Thank you, Iti. Very wonderful. All three presenters, their presentation is very much uh, informative and very much uh, appreciative and very much presentable. I think all our viewers are enjoyed this uh, presentation with uh, three persons. So uh, I'm very happy the day, the day by day uh, our uh, presenter do very nice uh, presentation. They are um, uh, they go to the books and so many many information are gathered and uh, they put up the slide and uh, I hope this this will be encouraging to us, uh, encouraging to our viewer, encouraging to our students who are uh, in the, some uh, examination uh, probably. Uh, our examination is occurs in November or December, so it will be helpful to our uh, our student, uh, our beloved student, uh, and uh, they may be uh, yeah, enjoy this. And I have some question to any participant, any presenter. Please, uh, um, first of all, I first of all I would like to know: Do you know? The slogan of our dental society, of the dental society, the, the slogan of our dental society, Bangladesh dental society, the oral hygiene slogan. Do you know the oral hygiene slogan of, of our dental society? Yes. Anyone, anyone? Yes, sir. Please. No, no. Anyone? Diana? Sir, I can't call it. Arjana? Arjana? Okay. The, the slogan of our dental society is two minutes brush and 30 second mouthwash. Two minutes brush and 30 seconds mouthwash in this pandemic in this pandemic situation. You know, the Bangladesh General Society uh, write up two books, one in Bangla and one in English. And Bangla is written by me and English is written by Dr. Ibrahim Khalid. 
In both of her is the put of the, the main thing, the two minutes brass and 30 second mouthwork. So uh, it is the most important for our maintaining our oral hygiene. Okay. I, I have an, another question that means what types of phenyl attachment, what are the types of phenyl attachment and which, which is dangerous to plug deposition, which is helpful but which is dangerous for plug deposition. Sorry, sir. Can you repeat the question, please, sir? So, what are the types of what are the what are the types of phenyl attachment? What are the types of phenyl attachment which is dangerous for plaque accumulation? The high phenyl attachment is dangerous for plaque accumulation. What do you mean by high phenyl attachment? Yeah. High phenyl attachment is do you know these types of phenyl attachment? Okay. That's the most important sir, thing. Yes. Leave what? open, thakke, sir. The high frame of attachment. Uh, there, is, there is another question. That is, what is the early sign of gingivitis? Chronic gingivitis. What is the early sir, sign of chronic gingivitis? Bleeding. 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 Red Early sign, what is the early sign? This is the bleeding, not the redness, not soiling. Right, bleeding. Or redness. Redness. Yes. Redness. Yes. Redness. Redness. The early bleeding. Sign. Patients have come with bleeding. Bleeding. Dr. Preva, are you with me? Sir, can Dr. I Preva? say uh, early sign? The brush, bleeding during brushing, sir. More spe specifically, sir, early sign. Bleeding. Bleeding during brushing, early sign. Bleeding during, during, during bleeding during brushing, the early sign of the uh, gingival uh, gingivitis, chronic gingivitis. Doctor Preva, are you here? Dr. Yeah, Preva? yeah, I'm here, doctor. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Please discuss the my question to explain our students. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, what uh, I will put it into uh, four stages, like uh, how gingivitis occurs, and what are the signs which are occurring in each of these four stages. So gingivitis is the is before your periodontitis, right? So gingivitis, as such, has four different stages. So the first stage is called as your initial. The second is your early. The third is your established and the fourth is your advanced stage. All right. So the first stage, that is your initial stage, occurs two to four days itself. The first two to four days itself, once dental flap is left out and if it's not cleared out, it results in the early stage of gingivitis. So during this stage, you don't see any clinical sign at all. So the only clinical, uh, I mean, the sign which is seen is ginger, GCF flow is increased. So that will not be seen to us. All right. The second stage is called as your initial stage, which means that and during, uh, I mean, it's called, called as your early stage, which means that during this stage, there are certain changes which are occurring micro, microbiologically inside. So because of that, you could see the very first noticeable sign that is your bleeding on probing. Okay. Sign. Uh, there are two another two terms symptom is what the patient is telling you sign is what you are eliciting so sir ask the term sign which means what you are eliciting okay as a doctor what you are eliciting so the very first sign which is shown clinically which we see clinically is your bleeding on probing bleeding on probing all right so it's not a symptom which sir asks sir has asked the sign you're getting okay the third stage is your advanced stage I mean, the third stage is the established stage, which occurs after 14 to 21 days. So during this stage, you can see certain changes in your uh, gingival structures, your consistency is changed, your contour is changed, and everything is changed. And the fourth stage is advanced stage. So this is uh, the gingivitis is sliding inside your perontitis. So this is how it is staged. So accordingly, you do have uh, uh, certain changes which are occurring inside. So this was a study done by 
Page and Struder. And there was also another study done wherein uh, one uh, a person called Lowe, he asked around uh, thousands of the workers to stop brushing for 21 days. And then he found out what is all happening. So this is all very interesting if you read all these historical studies. So that was Sir asking. So he's asking about the sign. So not about the symptom. So it, it differs. Sign is sign is what we see. Symptom is what the patient does. All right. Uh, over to you, sir. Hope I answered. <laughs> over to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I, I, I always, okay, so I, yes, I, I, uh, yes, I always try to uh, the, um, give answer by my our foreign speaker. This is the okay, ideal, okay. ideal. <laughs> ideal. Okay, so okay, I okay. always do this. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Preva, for your uh, nice cooperation and nice uh, deliberation and nice uh, um, appreciation of our student. Uh, hopefully, uh, our um, student do much more better. Uh, I think um, uh, it is comparable to uh, other country, but they cannot I, get I, chance. I, they, they, uh, they cannot get chance to uh, this type of presentation. Uh, hopefully, uh, we do many um, uh, more. Uh, enjoyable, enjoyable work, and it will be helpful to our student and also our uh, professionals also. Thank you, uh, Yeah, uh, sir. Uh, probably I would like to add one more thing. Uh, so, uh, so as sir has asked certain questions, so uh, sir has asked pertaining to clinical aspects. So apply whatever sir has asked to the clinical aspects. So that time only you are going to flourish as a dentist, all right? Yeah, okay, so over to you again. <laughs> I'm interrupting, over to you again. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful discussion. And I would love to take a few seconds actually a few moments for to uh, to thank all the respected judges and actually thank is uh, thank will be so little for uh, you because you uh, you the respected teacher really give us some informative and uh, some worthy session and i really hope the audience love the today's sessions and learn so many things let me tell you guys, I get to learn a lot of things and I totally enjoyed the episode. I would love to thank Access Dental School to give me this opportunity for being a part or, or being a moderator of today's episode. And I would have to, I have to appreciate today's uh, amazing presenters who have did a great job. And uh, so for clap from you, guys. <laughs> a clap to all three of you. So for the judges, I would like to tell the times of presentation. Um, so for Ikra Yunus Afshinapu, it was eight minutes. And uh, for Farjana Yasmin Apu, it was seven minutes. And our last presenters, Tasin Afwin Dianapu, it was 11 minutes. I hope it helps you, um, helps in your judgment and we really eagerly waiting for results. Now I would love to tell the audience about our next session. Yeah, are you guys ready? Get ready for the next blast? Yeah, obviously you guys must get ready for 24 August blast at 10 a.m. Yeah, and we have participate, we have three participants and they are Nusrat Jahan Saima, Chattogram International Dental College session 2017-2018, Prama Ghosh, Kumudini Women's Medical College, session 2017-2018. And we have also Faizya Farhan Rashmi, Dhaka Dental College, 2017-2018. And they're from group Farcation, uh, and their topic name is Chronic Gingivitis. And I hope uh, you all will be there for enjoy the, another session. And uh, our presenters will be, uh, will blast that night, inshallah. So thank you so much again to the judges, presenters, and audience for being lastly, and I would love to uh, take the permission from our respected judges to uh, end this session here today. Yeah, uh, Ms. Uh, 
Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, one more uh, word. Uh, so uh, I would like you guys to go through, uh, keep the work continuing, uh, keep uh, take opportunities. Dr. Pranipam has given you a broad platform. So take these opportunities, uh, watch each of the programs like, like I, before I came for this program, I did watch what was the previous programs. So please do watch each of the programs. So I think he has, doctor has already uploaded the programs in the uh, YouTube or the other platforms he has uploaded. So please do watch those programs. So anytime and any anywhere, these programs will help you in your uh, career. All right, and uh, um, and and, uh, and uh, from our college, from Penang International Technical College, also you do have YouTube videos uh, which are related to our lectures. So each of our lectures are in form of video, wherein the lecturers present it as a, a, a video tutorial. So I would like you guys, if you are, it is free for everybody. Everybody can watch. So you guys can go through that, take notes, and then read because the platform we are in a COVID situation. So wherever in information is available, collect it and read it. And uh, uh, there is all chances that you are able to reach me also, I'll be able to help you out. So you can contact me through FB, you can contact me through my WhatsApp number. Any doubt, any time in your life, yeah, I am available as a parentis after Dr. Anupam and Dr. Husnema. All right. So thank you very much, sir. And thank you very much, ma'am. And thank you all the three presenters and an excellent job by you, Satya. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Sir, can you please unmute your mic? Thank you, Prabha, for your nice cooperation and nice uh, delivery. And uh, uh, please pray for our students who are prepared for the next uh, examination in probably in the uh, November or December. So it is, uh, it is, I think this session will be helpful to our students. Okay. Uh, Thank I you. See you again. See you again, Prabha. Any another program? Maybe yeah, sure, sure. Any, any another sure, sure. public sure. awareness program also. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. I would like to ask our Husnara Begum, ma'am, for yeah. saying, uh, ma'am, can you please say something for us? Oh, sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you all for arranging this. And thanks to uh, Professor Prabha and our moderator, Urupam Puddhar, and our three presenter, and you also done very well. It's really appreciating. We must go on this way, and one day we'll reach in a position internationally. I hope so. Hope uh, better for you. Thank you very much. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ma'am, thank you so Bye. much really means for a lot for me. So uh, now I'm going to ask uh, a permission, sir, can, can yeah. we end our session here? Yeah, yeah, of course you may end the session. Hopefully we are uh, meet with us in next 24th uh, August. We another session, the chronic gingivitis. And group name, Sim Parkasan. Yes. Sim name, Parkasan. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for being with us. And uh, stay tuned uh, with Access Dental School. And till then, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.